Hello my viewers, I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you on how you can produce a general arrangement drawing. This is a foundation. Now in Revit, for those who are just getting started in Revit, you have to produce a model. You have to model everything before you start, you know, the general arrangement drawing. That is the detailing as you can see from here. Now, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel and check my website skillmaxcard.com. So we'll get started in this lesson and what I'm going to do, we'll go to the project browser and we are going to open this detail. You can see that once you model, this is what you're going to see by default. All right. So now to get started, We'll first of all check our line weights if i just go on top there or just type tl on your keyboard you can see that this is how my lines will be obviously i want my columns to be thicker because i'm cutting the columns in section so how do you achieve that you just need to go to the visibility graphics you can just type vg on your keyboard or you can simply click on view and click on visibility graphics then from here you see that we are looking for the structural column category so that we can change you know the thickness for our lines in section so i'll find the structural columns down there and see that we have the structural columns here now we have the projection surface mean, meaning that these are the lines that you are able to see when you haven't cut it it's not in section we also have the cut so we just want to modify the cut so we'll go to structure columns and we just want to modify the lines in section just click there then go to the weight and just change it to number four now there are some lessons on my channel if you want to understand where the number four is coming from please just you know counter check on my channel there are a number of videos there which will teach you on how to change the line weights or to know what these numbers are rep representing. I know that four is a thicker line weight, so I'll just pick on it as you can see from there and click on apply and okay, you can see that it's going to change like that. Okay, now the other thing that I want to do, we have these elevation markers. I can just uh, activate the crop view fine hide crop view or just activate it from there we can just select the crop view like that and just try to clean up our detail all right just dragging just like that and have it like this now for those who likes adding a shading on your detail there you can always do that but if you don't do that you can leave it let me activate the smooth lines apply okay and now i can go to my my lighting just adjust my ambient ambient light and click on apply right just just it like that and make sure that you are on shaded view because that's where the shading is coming from i apply now if I activate this one, I just move it like that. I'm able to see, you know, how the shading is. So I think I'll make it a little bit lighter like this one and click on apply. Okay, so you can see that it looks neat. Okay, and simply adjust my crop region. So this way you can start, you know, producing some nice details. The line weights according to how you want it to be. All right. Now from here, let's add our tags right now. You see that this is a type beam. If I select on the type beam, the way I created this one, if I click on edit type, there we have the type name, which is TB1, but I don't want this to be like this. Or alternatively, instead of using a type name within my tag, please follow me closely. So this is a type name that I can use within my tag. Alternatively, I can use a type mark, all right? So it doesn't matter. You can use a type name or a type mark, but I'm going to use this one. And under this one, I just typed this. T 
GB 200 by 300, which is the size for my beam. All right, I'll click on OK. Now I can go ahead and tag this one by going to annotate, tag by category. Then if I just move my cursor there, you see that it's picking that type type mark. All right. So now I'll show you where we can switch from the type name or the type mark accordingly. So I'm just clicking there. All right. So it's very, very easy when you start annotating, you know, and detailing using the tags. Okay. So you can see that I have it like that. All right. Click and cancel. Now I'll show you if I select on this tag and click on edit family. Now don't be overwhelmed here. This is just a family environment. I can zoom in here. If I just select on this particular tag, I can check the information this tag is picking by clicking on edit label. From here again, if you've never opened such a window, don't worry. These are just parameters that you can change. Remember it was a type mark. We also have the type name, which is here. So if you want to bring in the type name, you can just bring it here, but we don't want this one. We we'll click the red arrow to remove it and we we'll just maintain the type mark. That's why it's picking that particular information, right? I will not save anything because everything looks good here. Okay. Now let's proceed and also tag our bases. If I select on it, Again, this is the type name base three under the type mark. I haven't put anything. So this time I'll use a type name to tag. So I'll just go to annotate tag by category. So it's picking the, the type name. I can simply, you know, now pick these bases and we can have our type, the type name because it's picking the type name. All right. So I'll just select and add the type names there click on modify to escape now i can select this one hold control and select all these and just push it down a bit i can modify within the tag but i don't want to overwhelm some of you with too much information let me just hold i'm holding the control select this and simply move it hold shift i selected the base accidentally just select the tags Okay, and now I can just use, you know, the arrow on my keyboard, just the arrow, the left, the right arrow, and then the downward arrow so that I can have it somewhere there, right? And then click outside so you can see that you have it like that. Okay, now the dimensions are very, very easy. Just need to go to annotate, you know, then align dimension. Now you can pick your dimensions that you want. I think I've Customize this one a bit you can see that if I just start clicking there, it's a very, very clean, you know, dimension with those tick marks. Okay. Let me show you, I'll show you where those tick marks are coming from and it's quite short and I'll show you where you can adjust the tick mark that you are seeing there. So I'll just add it somewhere here and I'll just add another dimension here. Right. And let me just pick it from there this one so this way you can start producing your clean details okay click outside so this is how you can do it now last but not the least let me show you where those tick marks i think i said i'll show you where this tick mark is coming from if i select this dimension click on edit you can see that this tick mark is diagonal one millimeter the scale of 1 to 100. This is just the naming convention that I use. Now these tick marks are coming from here. If you just go to manage additional settings, you go to annotations under arrowheads. This is where you can configure your tick mark. So you can see that that is the diagonal one and that is the tick size. Okay. Actually it's not this one. It's a uh, or oh, it's where is that tick mark is this one diagonal one millimeter tick mark. You can see that you can change it from here. So the arrow style is diagonal. If you want to change it from here, you can use a dot. You can see that if I apply, it's going to change like that because it's not filled 
I can fill it. If I want it to be filled, I can apply. So from here, you can create all sorts of tick marks. This is where you need to come. But in my case, I just want to use the diagonal and one millimeter apply. Okay. So in Revit, you can customize, you know, the look of your drawings in terms of dimensions, you know, the text and everything. You can see that this text is quite customized. I used my text type that I wanted to use. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to learn more, please make sure that you like my videos and subscribe to my channel.